Three Orange County teens are safe tonight after their boat capsized off the Florida Keys. Deputies say they kept their cool throughout the whole ordeal. CBS 2's Chrissy Fajardo has details of the rescue. 911, where's your emergency? Uh, we're, we're in the middle of the ocean. We flipped the boat. Do you guys have life jackets? Uh, they're underneath the boat. That 911 call came from about two miles off the Florida Keys. Take a look. Three teens from Yorba Linda were huddled on the pointy end of a sinking boat with only one cell phone, one bar of signal, and water all around them. But not even these conditions could rattle Brent Shishido and brothers Jake and Zachary Souder for long. I think when we saw the water coming over, like, we, yeah. we all had a panic a little. Yeah, I was just like, just kind of suppress it though. The trio says they are avid fishermen and grew up on the water. So when they set out yesterday, they were mindful of their location. We started thinking on water and we knew like we had to get out of there. So we're about to capsize and I, I grabbed my phone and we all jumped out and just hopped on a capsized boat. Two of their cell phones went down with the boat, but they managed to keep one dry to guide rescuers to their location, waiting 45 minutes for help to arrive. I was telling him about cannibal cannibalizing and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, a bunch of jokes. Yeah, I was just trying to... Keep some mood light and positive. Yeah, we laughed and stuff and took some pictures to look at in the future. <laughs> this picture shows rescuers from Monroe County pulling the teens to safety. The sheriff's department says the trio did everything right. Oh, when I got on, when they pick us up, my phone died. Yeah, right when they pick us up, the phone died. <laughs> the teens can't thank their rescuers enough and say they've learned staying calm pays off. But we'll now be getting some new equipment for their cell phones. Uh, probably, yeah, waterproof case, maybe. Yeah, I know we bring my Pelican case. Christy Fajardo, CBS 2 News.